heading to Savers. Well, I didn't find that much items at that Savers that I just visited, so I'm at a new one, or a different one, I should say, and I hope to find more vintage items. There were a few things there that I know were vintage at um, the previous location, however, I have to really like it to buy it for the price that they were asking, because if it doesn't sell, then I'll keep it, right? Or I would buy it because I'm going to keep it anyway. Other than that, I think the prices were a little too high, because um, for my time, I'm trying to at least make over $20 for whatever, you know, if I spend a lot, then it's got to be more than $20. But if it's like three, $4, I, I would want to make $20 at least. Um, and that's cause I, you know, I'm a busy mom and I have so much to do that I just gotta like manage my time. So crossing fingers again, that there are more vintage items in this savers.
guys. So these are items that I bought at Two Savers. And um, it's not a lot, but as far as quantity, but as far as how much I could sell it for online on my eBay store, I'm actually pretty, pretty happy. I like to sell things over $20, especially when I'm not gonna keep the item, right? Cause like the last haul, it didn't really matter cause I knew that I would keep them if, um, if it doesn't sell. And actually, um, you know, if you look back at my first haul, I kept a lot of the items. So this time I was focused and I said, okay, these are items that I'm actually going to list, right? So I got to feed my vintage addiction by making money. Anyway, and if you hear my bird, that's my bird. So she hears me talking. She probably wants to get out of her cage, but we can't do that right now. So anyways, this lamp, this lamp is heavy and because it's heavy, um, and also the details, I really believe it is lead crystal. Uh, it is vintage, the plug, <laughs> I looked at that. Now the base or foundation, whatever this is called, is really not bad. I mean, there are a few scuffs, uh, and, and as far as like paint chips, you know, or it's chipped off, I think it's still okay. So um, the comps again are all over the place. I paid $9.99, there is tax at eBay, I mean, I'm sorry, at Savers which is where I bought all of these items. However, um, because the comps, they're like starting at 150, 188. I don't know if that's what I could get, but the comps were high enough and even the sold comps that, heck, I'll be happy at 65, 50. I don't know, and so I'll probably go on auction. Whenever I really don't know what I could get for an item, I put it on auction. So this lamp here, um, I got it for 12.99. And at first I wasn't going to buy it because all these loose shells, I was trying to figure out how am I going to ship it, but since I was able to lift this up, I can actually take a shell out and I could either wrap it individually, it'll probably be too much work, or I could just stuff it so there's no movement. Either way, it is a vintage lamp and a lot of them were selling for, you know, over the $100, over the $100 range. I did buy it for $12.99. I, you know, to me it's a great um, return on investment. So yeah, I bought it. All right, two butter dishes. This one is a solid yellow and it is Lemon Federalis, uh, made in Japan. It has a item number. It is vintage, $2.99. I know I could sell this for over $25 and it's probably a long tail item, which is fine with me. Um, for $2.99, that's okay. And then this one here reminds me of the 80s. I used to go to the swap meet a lot in San Diego. And uh, the design of it is totally like an 80s style print. Oh, it could be 90s. But I did look it up. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but I know it wasn't more than $2.99. I'm guessing it was $1.99. I'm crossing my fingers. I have to look at the receipt. But it is Mikasa. And the comps were really good. I know they're in the $30 range, I believe. But anyway, love it. Okay, this piece here, this figurine, uh, no chips, no crack, and it is stamped, it's the Valencia collection, but it is, um, it's stamped 1980. And when I went online, um, a lot of them weren't vintage, but they were part of the Valencia collection, they look like this, and, and I believe one that was made in 2000, sold in the high 60s, maybe low $70 range. I'm not sure, I'm sure I could, Mm, I'm sure I could sell this for at least $45, um, and I bought it for $5.99, so I'll probably start high and then go lower if it doesn't sell. There is none like this on eBay right now, but anyway, I to me it was a great buy. Okay, this thing here, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, a soup bowl, a, a soup server, either way, it's really pretty, and I like it. Yes, and it's one of those that I could keep. However, I will, I will list it first. Um, every time I go, I always see, every time I go thrifting, I always see like a, 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 a jar and it was always missing the ladle, the spoon. So here it is. And I was excited <laughs> because all three pieces were together. Um, it is a vintage piece. It's Cindy Sims, I bought it for $5, and um, there aren't that many online, and I'm banking because there aren't that many, and there is none like this, 
that I could probably, I don't know, crossing my fingers again, get anywhere from $30 to $40. So I'll probably list it on auction since I'm not sure at all. But anyway, this here. Okay, this teapot, the ones that they do have online that sell, that sold, actually sold in the $80 range, $90, $70. I mean, it's all random, but they all are really um, highly priced and highly sold. It is the teapot that's a little bit like shorter and rounder. It's, it's not like this, um, but same pattern. And this is vintage and I got it for $5.99 that I know that I would get a, a good price on this. Don't know if it would be in the $70, $80 range, but definitely I think 50s. So again, it's something I'm going to have to look at. Oops. Anyways, and this is Royal Albert Bone China, and it's the Petite Floral Collection. I don't have my glasses, but anyway, it is stamped. It's very pretty, and I think I will do pretty good on it. Okay, this piece here. I'm keeping it. Oh, I don't even know if it's vintage, but it's so pretty. It's a pineapple, and it was $3.99, so, and it has like gold flex. So I'm keeping it, but it's just something I bought as well. Um, I bought this too. It's called the giving tree. I no, not the giving tree, the giving plate. <laughs> and it has, you know, a, a nice poem and it basically says, you know, here's a plate full of goodies, probably cookies is what I will make and I'll give it to a good friend. And they in turn will then make cookies and fill it up and give it to another friend. So anyway, I love what it said and that's why um, I had to buy it. It was $3.99. I love the little farm animals and everything around it, but probably not vintage, but I'm keeping it. Actually, I'm gonna bake cookies and give it to someone and they can keep it. <laughs> All right, last piece, and this is vintage jewelry. So I went uh, looking actually for a jewelry jar, hoping to buy, you know, where they stuff like a bunch of jewelry in this jar. They sell it for like $19.99 or $20.15. Um, I've been watching some hauls and I really like what, what you could find in those um, jars. And the reason why I was gonna buy one because I was hoping to hopefully find a few vintage jewelry pieces. Anyways, there weren't any jars, but they did have this and this is vintage. It's with it, um, it was made in the 1950s, 1960s era. Uh, the class that gives it away. Jewelry, I know more of when it comes to vintage. So double knotted, um, definitely vintage not gonna sell it, I'm keeping it. It's $2.99, but I wanna wear it on denim. So it's just a cute vintage jewelry piece. Anyway, that's it for my haul. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, like, subscribe. And um, next week, I will either go to Carmen Miranda or go to another vintage store, who knows. But anyway, um, so subscribe, because I plan on putting out a video once a week. Anyway, thank you.